Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Lou Petronik and in today's tutorial video I'm gonna be showing you how you can get FFmpeg on your computer and the old link does not work on some of the tutorials and I'm just gonna be showing you how you can get it in 2020. So what you do is you click the first link in the description I'm gonna be, I'm gonna like uh, split it from the rest of the text if I'll have any uh, the FFmpeg and the uh, serial number of this. What you do is click either of these. I already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna click it. Uh, when you've done downloading it, uh, you can uh, go to downloads uh, or uh, wherever it saves the files and uh, you can drag it on the desktop uh, or you, like, um, it will be easier to work with. Then right click, drag, anywhere and click extract extract when uh, when it's done extracting shit you'll have this folder you can delete this one if you want if you don't then uh, i would recommend you to save it somewhere on like external hard drive or uh, on the cloud or any kind of external storage but uh, when you've done extracting, open the folder, open the folder inside of it, and then uh, uh, select all of these. Click copy, then go to this PC. I'm gonna be uh, making it on a secondary, secondary hard drive because I have uh, multiple, as you can see. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be working on a secondary uh, hard drive. If you have multiple. Uh, I would suggest making it on uh, secondary, but if you don't, then just click on the main one, uh, click new folder, write in FFM, MPEG, or... It actually doesn't really matter how you name the folder. When you've done uh, making the folder, open it, right click, pl paste. When it's done uh, pasting that shit, Click start button, then write in env, which will show edit the system environment variables. Click on that. When you when it opens up, uh, under the startup and recovery bullshit thing, there's another button environment variables. Click on that. It will open environment variable tab. When it is when it opens, uh, click on the path. It should be the middle one. I double click on it, or you can just, uh, or you can just click on it once and then edit. When you uh, when it opens, I already have it saved here, but I'm gonna show you how you can d uh, do it uh, if you have only one hard drive. Basically, what you do is you click either browse or if you still have the, if you still have the. Uh, folder opened, open bin, uh, click on top uh, where where there's the uh, address of the fol uh, folder. You click on it, control C, new, control V. Or what you can, or what you can do is click browse, click on this PC, click on your hard drive, Click on the FFmpeg, which should be first. Uh, click bin and press OK. And you should have it right here. I'm gonna delete it because I have two. When you've when you've done making it, then uh, click OK and uh, click OK here as well and OK. Now you can check if it worked. You click start, write in CMD, which, uh, which should throw the best match, uh, the command prompt. You, you just click on it, and here, in the command prompt, you just need to write in FFmpeg. If it throws you out FFmpeg version and yada yada, it means that you successfully got FFmpeg on your computer. If it doesn't, 
please let me know in comments down below and uh, I will try to help you as I can. I am kind of new to this, but I will try my best to find a solution. But if anything else, thank you guys for watching. If this video helped you, please make sure you click on the like button if you want to see more videos then click on subscribe and ring that bell icon and um yes i hope this video helped and see you guys in the next video